On the medical watch tonight, COVID and the cold. As medical reporter Dina Baer tells you, the weather plays a huge role in the spread. For years, doctors have known viruses spread more rapidly in cold, dry air. That's why winter is so devastating for flu cases and deaths. And now the same is holding true for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. A new Yale Columbia University study outlines the problem and how it may impact outdoor dining. When cities and states shut the doors for indoor dining, they forced patrons outside. It was warm then. Now as cold, dry air engulfs the Chicago area. Colder temperatures and lower relative humidity conditions seem to favor the survival and the transmissibility of the virus. So unless you're in an individual bubble, if you're eating outside in a large tent, it is of some concern. And you know, the question is what kind of ventilation is really in there? Especially as colder temperatures prompt people to put up walls on the tents to keep diners warm. If they're really cramming people together in there, they're packing them in tightly and they're providing opportunities for transmission that wouldn't exist if people weren't doing that. Columbia but University environmental is, sciences professor Dr. Jeffrey Shaman has been studying virus transmission for years. When you breathe, when you speak, when you cough, when you sneeze, you expel droplets of that oral and nasal mucosa stuff, saliva and mucus and all this other stuff. The expelled droplets from infected people contain virus particles. Those viral particles go out and they can be droplets that can hit somebody in the face. They can be evaporated in the subsaturated air that is around us all the time. Unsuspecting people inhale the virus and become infected. It's a process that happens more easily in the cold. We can see that there's this very strong seasonal cycle for influenza. We all know it, we all experience it. We know flu occurs in the winter time, but coronavirus's patterns match that of flu. And now to be in a tent in particular when there are lots of people bubbled, it's something that I would actually recommend avoiding. I don't think it's worth the risk. Indoors, if airflow is good, maybe a better option. It would be better to have better ventilation or to have barriers. And unlike outside, indoors we can alter humidity levels, pumping in more moist air, which does not favor virus transmission. A place like Chicago, indoors, if you were to measure the humidity in many buildings, you'd find it bone dry. You have a lot of room to start humidifying it. It's good advice for your home and office space as well. More humidity is better in the cold, dry winter months. Back to you. Well, a lot of good information there.